Hey, y'all. Uh, here in Savannah, it's like spring. So, uh, I'm going to make like a float, a raspberry ice cream float. But before I do that, I just want to tell y'all, I went to bed last night and I thought maybe I had not shared something with y'all that I was re real clear on. And so I'm talking about the new book, y'all, that's going to be coming out in the fall. Uh, this is different from any other book that we've had published. This goes back to my very first cookbook that I self-published. And uh, you only order so many, and then when it's gone, it's gone. So you will not see this book in any stores or on counters, none of your local stores. You will not see this book because we're only going to print the amount that's pre-ordered. So unless you pre-order this book, I cannot guarantee that you will ever be able to get one. And that's just the way it is. So, uh, and remember this, if you pre-order it today or yesterday, your credit card is not gonna be charged until it, we have that book in the mail on its way to you. So I just want y'all to understand, and I'll keep saying that. Uh, if you don't pre-order it, you're not guaranteed a book. So, and I want y'all to have a book so bad because it's good. It's going to be real good. So, now let's get on with our float. Uh, for this float, I'm using, I'll, I'll give y'all the whole recipe, but I'm only doing half the recipe because... I'm afraid I can't count on Teresa and Eddie to help me drink that many. And I don't want to have to do that alone. So earlier we made a simple syrup. And uh, for our simple syrup, I've done, I've done um, tips on how to make simple syrup. It's very easy. Uh, I used one cup of granulated sugar and two thirds a cup of water. And you just put that in the pot, get it hot until your sugar melts, take it off and let it cool. So uh, in some of the fancier restaurants, if you want sweet tea, they'll say, well, I have, um, I have some sugar water, if that was uh, some syrup, some simple syrup, if that'll do. So that's, this is what they would bring you to your table. Now I'm adding about a fourth of a cup of simple syrup to this and a couple of tablespoons of lime juice. And I'm just gonna use my little emulsion thing. Okay, there we go. All right, now you can see our glass is frosty because I recommend that you chill it. And our recipe calls for um, vanilla ice cream. And you see I'm using my very favorite ice cream. Um, and I'm using my ice cream scoop that a friend sent me. I love this so much. I've never seen one in a store, ever. But you run this under hot water, and there's a liquid, there's a liquid in this handle part that somehow gets hot and sends that to the scooper. All right, now I'm going to add most almost all of my red. Well, I'm gonna go a fourth of the way up. Does that look like a fourth of the way up, Ed? Yep, that looks. Okay. And now, our scoop of vanilla ice cream. This is so, so good. I wanna keep my glass pretty. All right, now my seltzer water. Whoa! 
<laughs> Let's see what it's going to do when I put it over that ice cream and raspberries. Whoa. It's coming out of the jug, baby. It's overflowing. All right, now at this point, we would have to stir this. We have to stir that because we want those bubbles to go away and get as much as much seltzer in there as we can. So see, this is not fattening. I, I, I still got one old scoop of ice cream and simple syrup. Can you see the sugar? <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> All right. A little bit more raspberry on top. Oh, and our mint. Our mint is starting to come out, isn't it, Eddie? It is. It's really full right now. And look, Eddie said we've got some, some of the sweetest... Uh, climbing roses here in the yard. Eddie said that's the first bud. Look, I even decorated our our uh, straw with some raspberries. And a few more raspberries right there. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? I'm pushing the limit, y'all, <laughs> as I always do. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. I intentionally got me a big straw <laughs> so I could suck it down. That is so good, so refreshing. My grandchildren would love something like this. They really would in that that little drop of ice cream in here. <laughs> Yum, y'all. You know what? This would be uh, so tasty to serve to the children on Easter. Maybe when you give them their Easter basket, if that's what you do. So, loving best dishes. Y'all don't miss this one because it's good. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.